do you want to run a waitlist service with the iOS version of Res Diary Plus? This film will show you how to navigate and manage the waitlist, notify diners that a table is ready, and seat a party from the waitlist. For a complete overview to the Res Diary Plus interface, watch the film linked in the descriptor. This is the waitlist. You can access this by tapping the menu icon and selecting waitlist from the views list. The decline tab shows any waitlist parties who have declined a table, including the name and time that they were added to the waitlist, any comments attached to the party, the number of covers, how long they waited and the time they were quoted, and finally, the decline reason. The current tab shows each party on the waitlist, including an icon on the left. The purple stopwatch shows that they have been added to the waitlist. The orange paper plane shows that a message notifying the party that their table is available has been sent to the diner. The green paper plane shows that the party has responded and confirmed that they plan to return to the venue at the quoted time. Continuing to the right, we see the diner's name and when they were added to the waitlist, the number of covers in the party, the recommended table, the time they have been waiting and how long they were told they would have to wait, and how long until the recommended table will be ready or if a table becomes available, this will be highlighted in green and the table number will be shown. Finally, there are three buttons. The information icon reveals an additional section showing how many messages have been sent, when the last message was sent, and any booking notes. The paper plane sends a message letting the party know that the table is ready. An SMS can be configured as well if you add this option to your package. The message informs the party when the table will be ready and includes a link to a page where they can accept or decline the table. The table icon brings up the party manager. This will also open if you tap anywhere on the party details. You can tap the bar in the top right to expand the interface. The top bar lets you navigate between the party size page where you can change the number of diners within the party. The table page where you can select an area and a wait time to quote to the diner. The recommended time will be highlighted in blue. Any times before this will be using the turn time for previous guests, so use this at your own discretion. The final page shows the diner details. Here you can update any of the information by tapping a field. At the bottom, there are five buttons. Notify sends a notification to the diner that the table is ready and they should return to the venue at the quoted time. No-show lets you add a no-show reason in the event that the party doesn't return. Here you can charge the card, block the diner from making bookings in the future, or mark it as a no-show with no further action. Complete updates any details you have changed. This will not send a notification to the party. So, if you do make a change to the time that the table will be available, make sure to send a notification to inform the party of this. Decline lets you add a reason that the diner declined the table, which can be configured in the desktop diary. And finally, Seat Now lets you seat the diner within the diary, removing them from the waitlist. Make sure that the party has confirmed that they want the table before doing this. You can now see the booking in the table plan and grid view. You can add guests to the waitlist from the grid view and table plan by tapping a table or booking slot in the interface or using the walk-in button. Select the number of guests if using the walk-in button, select an area if required, and a time to quote from the list, then add the party details. This will send a confirmation notification to the supplied email or SMS informing the party they have been added to the waitlist. The walk-ins interface is covered in detail in the Creating a Booking or Seating a Walk-in film linked in the descriptor. You can also manage the waitlist from the grid view and table plan. Tap the waitlist icon in the bottom right and a condensed version of the waitlist will appear. This will have a disc showing how many parties are waiting for a table. You can see each party waiting the name and time that they were added to the waitlist, how long they have been waiting, the time they were quoted, the number of covers in the party, 
which table is recommended. Tapping this will add the booking to that table as an expected booking and a plus button where you can notify the party that the table is available. Mark the party as a no-show or add a reason that they declined. The orange bar indicates that a message has been sent to the party and a green bar indicates that they have confirmed the booking. Tapping an entry on the waitlist will bring up the same party manager interface that we covered earlier in the film. To get support when you need it, click the help icon and submit a ticket to one of our support team members who will pick it up and send you the solution. Search the knowledge base for step-by-step -step guides or if you are unable to access the above, email us on support at resdiary.com and we will be in touch with you as soon as possible.